yeah, I need to hydrate a little bit. I need my protein fruit smoothie because I'm talking about all the leprechaun movies one after the other. I can't even breathe, but yeah, just give me a second. Leprechaun 3 stars Warwick Davis, John Gattins, Lee Armstrong, John Demita, and Carolyn Williams and is directed by Brian Trenchard Smith. This guy's going to go on to do Leprechaun 4 in space. Yeah, Leprechaun Space. That one, got a lot to say about that one. Talking about Jump the Shark, if you will. Yeah, but this one, we got Leprechaun in Vegas, you know. Uh, this dude ends up stealing his gold. There's a medallion plot line going on leprechauns in vegas causing mayhem the other guy's turning into a leprechaun leprechaun versus leprechaun a lot of fun in vegas it's a good time oh and not to mention he blows up a lady's ass in this movie yeah <laughs> yeah leprechaun 3 you know the third in a horror franchise this is generally where they figure out what they want to do figure out the formula what they're going to do for every movie to come from here on out you know Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Freddy's gonna be scary, but he's gonna be funny, have a lot of quippy one-liners. Friday the 13th, Jason got the hockey mask. And you know, Halloween 3, no Michael Myers, it, bunch of killer Halloween masks that like make bugs come out of your head, right? Well, Halloween 3 got it wrong, but everything else pretty much gets it right. Vegas, you know, Leprechaun's gonna go anywhere. Vegas seems like a good bet, you know. These movies are just kind of exploitation horror movies, so why not go to Vegas? It makes sense. Yeah, it's a good setting for Leprechaun to go around and kill reprehensible people. There's definitely a lot of fun here, which is what I said last time. Leprechaun movies need to be fun. Don't take it too seriously like the first one, but make it fun and still be somewhat gruesome. But it's just got to be a good comedy, at least. Leprechaun meets Elvis. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And Warwick Davis does the little hip thing. That stuff, that's that works for me. You got a magician in here. Um, Leprechaun's chopping a guy in half and blood's going everywhere. He opens it up. Ta-da! And his like, intestines spill out. Yeah. Stuff like that is fun. You know, uh, Leprechaun, he's in the pawn shop. He bites a guy's ear. The guy's Indian. Ooh, I love Indian food. So spicy. You know, this is where they're really, they're playing up the comedy to some of its best. Even if it is just silly, dumb comedy, it's still funny. This movie's got some great kills, got some great one-liners. Warwick Davis, one of his better Leprechaun performances, so fun. And for that nasty trick, I'll chop off your dick! That was quite too low to have to explode. What a lovely lass. I had to blow up your ass. And now I must hit the road. You know, this movie, they blew up a woman's ass. Well, to be more accurate, they blew up her lips, her boobs, and her butt until it all popped. Yeah. That's reason enough to see this movie. To see a human being blow up like a balloon and pop. You have to see it for that. The problem though is the cast. In this one we got some bad main characters. Like the dude is so just dull and poorly acted because every scene is like this. Like he's wandering around like Simple Jack basically. Like huh? Like he's such a dumb little schmuck. Until he turns into a leprechaun, he gets infected, starts so turning into a leprechaun, then he's awesome. He's walking around, potatoes, and doing rhymes and becoming like the slightly more well-behaved leprechaun of the two, like the good guy leprechaun. That stuff is fun. That's when I like that performance. The girl in this, she can't act. She, at times, like she's crying and her voice basically disappears. It's like, Ugh. But like, they have her in a magician's assistant suit, which is basically like a corset. So I guess that's how they make up for poor acting as here. She's basically naked most of the movie. I forget his name, the manager of the casino. He's in debt with some mobsters that basically feel like um, rejects from a Tarantino script because they're doing like Pulp Fiction dialogue, talking about their underwear, stuff like that. So those guys are like, they're all right in the movie. You know, you want to do lame, low rent version of Tarantino dialogue. Why not? It was the 90s after all. A magician that is just a, basically a thief that breaks into a guy's room, punches him out and steals his shit. Ah, uh, that guy, the great Fazio. Poof, smoke dust, disappear. You know, it's not quite the prestige, but it'll do. So the cast of characters, they're they're fun, even though none of them really act very well. The magician guy is kind of fun, though, and he gives one of the best lines in a movie I've ever heard in my life. You want magic, honey? Bend over. I'll pull a rabbit out of your ass. Like that. Okay, that's one of the best lines ever. Warwick Davis, again, just having a ball in this movie, being totally entertaining. You know, there's a part, he's in Scrubs. 
Just no dialogue. The scene takes place in a hospital, so your introduction to him being in the hospital, he walks through a door in nurse's scrubs, just walking down the hallway. That's so funny. Just side gags like that. But this movie's got some negatives besides the acting, you know. By this one you figure out these movies have no plot connections between movies. At least in Friday the 13th. 4, 5, and 6 has the same main character coming back and they're trying to connect things enough at least. Little strands here and there. Nightmare on Elm Street tried that too. This one, fuck that. The first movie happened, then the second movie happened, then the third movie happens. You're, you, there's even theories that it's not the same leprechaun. It could just be the same actor because... The first leprechaun wanted his gold, this one wants his gold, the middle one wanted a wife, and so if you're trying to make continuity, it's like he wanted his gold in between trying to get his wife, and when that didn't work, he wanted his gold again. They're not connected, and also this movie is poorly made. It's fun, but it's poorly made. Why? Because half the movie's out of focus, okay? One of the easiest things you could do for a movie, a production, you guys are being paid how much to make a professional movie and you can't even keep the movie in focus. There's parts, the movie's blurred out. It's like, I'm watching it, it Blu-ray, high definition picture, and it's out of fucking focus, okay? That is a problem. That's like mistake number one when you make a movie is make sure it's in focus. You did that wrong, well shit. So yeah, not all perfect, still a fun, goofy, silly, dumb time. But yeah, worse filmmaking on display here, less likable characters, even though when our hero becomes a leprechaun, it's so worth it. Potatoes! That alone, that line. But yeah, this movie just a little bit more poorly made than number two, but still a good time. I would give this one a B minus. They still, they know what they're doing at this point. We got the formula. Leprechaun's gonna be goofy, funny, but still slash people up in interesting, cool ways. He'll have good rhymes, right? Well, next time he's going to space. So comment below, tell me you thought of Leprechaun 3, and thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.